What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the final episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Yes, guys, this is it. We're gonna finish it off with a buttload of battles with a buttload of strong-ass trainers, and, uh, to start this off, we're gonna be starting, uh, with the toughest battle of them all, because I, I, I truly believe this is going to be the toughest one out of all the battles we're going to have, and that is, we're going to go see our old girlfriend from Sinnoh. So, we're here in Umdella Town, and we just skipped this part for a good reason, because, believe it or not, look at that. Well, hello there. It's been a while. What's this? What, un what an uncanny resemblance. It's surprising to meet another trainer who has intense eyes like that Pokemon trainer. What's your name? It's me, baby. It's Draven. Okay, I'll remember that. Draven, nice to meet you. I'm Cynthia. I'm a Pokemon trainer, too, like you. I have an insatiable curiosity for researching Pokemon myths. I'm sure you know about the Undella Town's abysmal ruins, right? Yep, heard about it, saw it, didn't want to do it. I'm staying here at my friend's villa so I can uh, investigate them. In order to get to know uh, know each other better as Pokemon trainers, I would like for our Pokemon to have a match. Would you care to be my opponent? Shoot, I'll be uh, more than happy to be more than just your opponent, if you know what I mean. Right? That's right. Remember Pokemon Platinum? Yeah, she didn't remember my name, so yeah, bring it on! Before I send out my Pokemon, my heart always begins to race. Interesting. My Pokemon in their Pokeballs are radiating a happy feeling. Are you the reason? What are you? Well, I'm your boyfriend from Sinnoh! Okay, so here it is, guys! Another battle against Pokemon trainer Cynthia. And... <laughs> her Pokemon are strong! They are super strong. Look at that. She starts out with her usual spirit turn. Spirit tomb, I should say. And yeah, I, I, I'm ready. I'm ready for this one. And yes, I did train my Pokemon for this reason because god dang, her Pokemon are strong. So let's go right ahead and start going with some waterfall right here. Spirit tomb. Both dark and ghost type Pokemon. Doesn't necessarily have a weakness until generation 6, I believe, where, yeah. Fairy type Pokemon make their presence known, and Sign of the Torrent right now is getting uh, is getting fainted or, or no, he's not. He's getting burnt right now. So let's go right ahead with another waterfall. Hopefully we take this guy out right now. Come on, finish him! Damn it! Ah, oh, crud! And uh, it's so it begins. Now she's really starting to mess with us because. The evasiveness is coming up. Sai is burnt. And, well, let's go with another waterfall. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, god dang it. Uh, okay, so full restore. She was the champion of Sinnoh for a good reason. And here we go. Waterfall attack. Come on. Let's get it. And, yeah, that's not going to do us any good right now because we're burnt right now. So let's go right ahead and start healing our Pokemon because uh, that right there... It's not going to do us any good. Luckily for us, we did buy lots of healing items just in case for this situation. And that's right. Okay, so now I got my full power back since not being burned and all that stuff. And here it comes again with another double team. Now it's making it a lot more harder for us to just hit this Pokemon. I don't necessarily remember if I do have a uh, an attack that does not miss. So let's go again with another revenge or another waterfall. Come on, baby. Finish him. Or it. Or her. It's a her. Okay. And Spirit Tomb nearly goes out, and god dang it. Yeah, it's always her first Pokemon that just really, really just gets you all pissed off. Luckily, uh, look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Sigh of the Torrent. Defeat Spirit Tomb. Just like that. Yeah, that's right. How does it feel? And look at that. Gigalith throws the level 73. And here she's coming out with her Electros. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back a good old buddy of ours. Yes, the one and only Drillmonger. Now, I haven't used him in our, you know, secondary adventure right here, going into the, the eastern part of uh, Unova, but I think it's ready to just kick some ass right here. So let's go with the Rock Slide. Let's go Drillmonger. Now, remember, facing an Electros, he has Levitate. 
and it will not be affected by any ground type move and look at that we made it flinch so let's go right ahead with another rock slide we prepared for you that's right Cynthia we prepared for you and good god okay it survives and look at that flamethrower does a nice chunk look at that nearly makes us faint come on rock slide for the win suck on those lemons electros yeah buddy alrighty look at that look at that and look at that okay so she's gonna be coming out with her Milotic now this Pokemon right here is a you know what of a Pokemon to defeat so I'm gonna go with Ace right here Stoutland from Scotland and yes my phone just fell off but yeah that's awesome gotta love my phone and right now I'm gonna be taking a, a nice risk right here because uh, yeah I got wild charge this Pokemon right here very very strong water type Pokemon so let's go with the wild charge come on baby use the wild charge finish him both at the same level right there and oh my god takes half its HP and here comes its bulldoze no way you're not gonna beat me like that but my speed has fallen just a little bit Luckily for us, we equipped Ace with a little bit, or something called Leftover. So let's go again with another Wild Charge. And here comes that wild, or Hydro Pump. Oh, jeez. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so here we go. Time to sacrifice yourself for the team. Finish him. And look at that. Milotic faints. Ace is going to faint for, for this one right here. Okay, so what a better way than, you know, what a, what a better way to sacrifice herself. So I'm going to go with Hotshot right here because more than likely she's going to be coming out with her uh, Lucario right here. So I just want to be prepared for this guy. And, well, I was wrong. She comes out with a Breviary right here. All right. I got a Fire Punch ready for you. Here we go. Fire Punch for the win. Suck on those lemons. Come on. Fry that bird in. Oh, and here comes its brave bird attack. Luckily for us, this Pokemon is not a fighting type Pokemon, but that right there nearly makes my Pokemon faint. Good God, this Pokemon trainer is strong. So here we go, finishing it off with a fire punch. Yes, sir. Look at that. Fire punch for the win. Look at that, look at that, and look at that. And yep, she's gonna be coming out with her strongest Pokemon, Garchomp. So let's go straight to Psy of the Torrent. Okay. Now, if you guys remember, when we were facing uh, Cynthia, I think those two, those two times in, uh, in uh, Pokemon Platinum, this Pokemon right here was the strongest and scariest Pokemon of them all. So I'm gonna use a Dragon Tail right here, and well, Look at that, Dragon Rush kicking our butt right now, and come on, here we go, Dragon Tail. It's going to switch out the Pokemon, which is good, but it's going to take a nice chunk out of its HP too. So there we go, coming out with Lucario. Alright, so I got a move just for you, so go ahead, hit me with, with, uh, hit me with everything you got. So here he comes with his Adugan, and that right there is oh god oh god nearly takes a huge chunk out of it or nearly makes me faint so here we go revenge and hopefully this makes this pokemon faint please come on go down and there we go say goodbye to lucario oh yeah and look at that level 82 oh yes that's a lot of training with all the trainers that we defeated throughout the region so let's go right ahead and move to gigalith right here now, the only reason I'm using Gigalith right now is to prevent any kind of earthquake attacks right here. And Garchomp, looking like a beast, as always, the final Pokemon when the last time I was driven to a corner like this. When was the last time? Uh, uh, hello, me. So, let's go right ahead, Shadow Ball. And Stone Edge misses. So we're going to have to like avoid every single attack for, from Garchomp right here, from its Stone Edge attack to everything. And, okay, so we're going to have to fly right here because it might use another Stone Edge. And we avoided that attack again, so here we go. Another Fly Attack just so it could waste another Stone Edge right here. And here we go, Fly Attack. Finish him. Come on. 
damn it. Okay, so let's go with another fly. Come on. And the one stone edge hits him. Oh, jeez. Stay, 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 stay. Come on, Giga Lift. Come on. Oh, and it stays. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Every single one of my Pokemon survives its attack. And look at that. Victorious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a great battle right there, guys. My heart is pounding so hard. I had a, a, such a heated battle. You're a really great trainer. That's right, baby. You recognize game, recognize this game. Oh my god. That was by, that was beyond my expectation. What an exceptional battle. You certainly bear a resemblance to the trainer that, who I, who faced uh, Giratina. Oh, pardon me. I was just thinking about it loud. I love being here in, this, uh, in the spring and the summer. I can't stay all year because there's so much to investigate in Sinnoh as well. You're a great trainer and it would make me, it would make me happy to see you again sometime. Me too, baby. Me too. Alrighty, so... Okay, guys, this is it. So, let's go straight to the Pokemon League because... Good God! Three... No, four of our Pokemon was close to fainting in this battle. That was a... That was truly an intense battle right there. Oh my God. I'm really happy about that one. So... Off screen, yeah, I went training, I battled every single trainer, and then I, you know, just battled and battled and battled, uh, you know, just leveling up my Pokemon just for this particular reason, guys. We're going to the Pokemon League, and we're finally going to win the Unova G or the Unova League. We've already defeated the Pokemon League, uh, you know, to begin with, in the very, very first part of our adventure. But technically, we did not defeat the, ch the, the champion. We had to battle N, and gets us and everything else and if you guys remember when I was driving XC 7-eleven both Pokemon black walkers that I came out with it always ended by the time we defeated N and gets us that was it and well you know I, I, I thought about it a long time very very long time especially when I was driving XC 7-eleven I thought that you know I was gonna come back and finished Pokemon Black, but then I decided to delete every single uh, every single video and restart. And here we are, two three years later, and we're gonna fulfill this whole thing right here. So let's go right ahead and take on the Pokemon League and finish what we started. So here it is, Pokemon League, and just like always, like how I introduced every or how I introduced it. We are allowed to challenge anyone we want, so we're just gonna go with, you know, ABC order or something. I don't even know. We're just gonna go in order right here. And as you can see, we're gonna be facing a ghost type trainer. Look at that. We're just gonna be floating up the stairs. Because, you know, going on the stairs, you know, stepping on the stairs, it's overrated, right? And, wow, scary. Very, very scary. Okay. You can drop me now. I'm back, baby. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and switch out Pokemon right here. You know what? We're gonna start it off. We're gonna start it off with Ace right here because it's a normal type Pokemon. Ghost types don't ne don't necessarily have an effect on them. So here it is, guys. The whole Pokemon League in its entirety right here. Let's go ahead. The tiny but strong Pokemon looked up at its trainer and saw the seeds of doubt taking root as together they faced their toughest opponent yet. The Pokemon sounded a soft cry of reassurance and the battle began. That part, that was a part of a novel I wrote. I absolutely love writing about those close bonds between trainers who come here and the, and the Pokemon they train. Could I use you and your Pokemon as a subject? Hell yeah. Okay, let's do it. Round one, fight. And if you guys remember, we're facing Chantal. I love saying her name, Chantal. Look at that, Chantal. And yes, she does have six Pokemon. These Pokemon trainers have progressed a lot since the last time we battled. Most of them are coming out at level 70. So yeah, just uh, you, you just gotta be prepared. So here we go, Caferagus. Getting ready to kick its butt. Let's go with a crunch attack. Come on, finish it. Damn it. And here's that mummy effect and crap baskets. So I don't know what that mummy whole thing is. And just like just like Cynthia, it tried to use a will-o-wisp on me. So let's go again. Crunch attack. 
Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, oh, damn it. And here comes the Willow Whiffs. So, I already know what's going to happen. So, I'm going to do the same exact thing as she does. I'm going to heal my Pokemon. Hold on just a sec. Where is it? Uh, oh, yeah. Full heal. Screw it. Gonna use that. Let's heal the Pokemon. Let's start from new. Because she's going to do the same thing, too. They always do. And look at that. And Chantal uses her for, uh, her full restore right there. All right, Kefarigus. And this is the first time I'm actually, like, saying its name right. What the hell happened, Draven? What the hell happened during this, uh, this, uh, this, this pandemic? Life happened. So let's go with the Surf Attack. See if it can actually just give it a little bit more of an oomph right there. Boom. Giving it the boom. And... Nope, doesn't do much, but it was a critical hit right there. Here comes a Psychic Attack. And, yeah. Luckily for us, we do have uh, leftovers right here, so let's go right ahead and go back to the Crunch Attack right here. Now, I could have used... I could have used uh, Shadow right here. Could have probably done a better job, but you know what? I'm thinking uh, strategically, strategically, and look at that, more leftovers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and just do the crunch attack again. Finish this guy off. Bam. Oh yes. Look at that. Look at that. Paragus defeated. And it took us like about three minutes just to defeat one Pokemon right there, so yeah, that's uh, kind of a... Kind of a big thing right there, guys. And look at that. We're getting uh, refreshed again. And, well, here comes a Golurk. So... Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Sigh of the Torn right here. Just because it's a little stronger with the water type attacks. Golurk. Ground and Psychic. Or, no, Ground and Ghost type right here. So look at that. It looks like a Digimon. Like Shakulamon. It does. But guess what? Waterfall, let's take this guy out. Come on. Sigh of the torrent. Let's get it. And come on. Finish it. Come on. And there you go. One hit KO. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was uh, that, that was kind of stressful right there. So here he goes with Drip Blim. And we're gonna go straight back to Ace right here. Just because it does have an electric uh, an electric type move right there, just in case. So, welcome back, Stoutlim from Scotland. And look at that, Driplim. Looking like a big old balloon. Let's go. Crunch attack right here. There we go. Don't need to lose HP just about yet. And look at that. That crunch attack. Is it going to do it? Almost does it. And here comes its acrobatics attack. And that takes a lot. But guess what? We got leftovers. You cannot defeat me like that. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and finish it off with some wild charge right here. There we go. Stoutland from Scotland. Taking out another Pokemon right here. I'll take in just a little bit, and here comes its aftermath attack. Crap, so we're gonna... Yeah, we're definitely gonna take a lot. Yeah, we're definitely gonna take a lot, and look at that. And, well, luckily for us, we do have the leftover, so it's okay. It's fine. To an extent right there. Now, here she's coming out with a Jellicent. I'm going to stick with Ace right here, and try and hit it one good time. So let's go with the Wild Charge right here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And that is how you do it. Look at that. Jellicent defeated. Ace is kicking some butt right there. There we go. That's a good doggy. And... Well, look at that. The leftovers. Helping it clean by a little, a little life. And you know what? A frost lance is coming in, so let's go ahead and give it a break and get hot shot right here. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. So we're doing well. We're doing, we're doing really, really well. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So frost lance, how you doing? What's up? Take a look at this. Fire punch. And, well, it's faster than us. So, here comes its Dark Kamehameha attack. And does it do it? Can it do it? Will it do it? No, it doesn't. And here goes Fire Punch. Fist of the Beast King right here. Come on. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. And there you go. Frost Lass is no more. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
And here she coming out with one more Pokemon. I'm hoping this is the last Pokemon. Chandelure. Let's go with Sight of the Torrent right here again. Yeah, buddy. Look at this majestic ass Pokemon with a big old mustache. Wish I had my mustache isn't that big or my beard. Alrighty, so I guess this is the start of the last chapter. Okay. Love her references. So sad to see her go. So here we go. Waterfall. Finish him. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on. And there you go. Chandelure no more. Oh, yes. Now that is victorious right there. And she's like, wow, I'm stunned. For all the words I know, I can't figure out how to say this. Putting my feelings into words would just be, uh, be a trap. I'll say I feel even greater than, than, than I thought. <laughs> wow. Sorry. First, I must apologize to my Pokemon. I'm really sorry you had a bad experience because of me. Oh, it's not your fault. This is how, this is how battles always go. Even in light of that, I'm still one of the Elite Four. You really are. So let's get the heck out of here. Okay, so that's one person down. And let's start healing up our Pokemon right here. Uh, let's see. So we got plenty of full restore, so there's no worries with that. So give us some to Ace. Ace has been the MVP for this one battle. And everybody else did their part right there, too. Okay, so remember, guys, when you're facing the Elite Four for the second time, they will all be above level 70. So you, you, you better train your Pokemon. Especially going to be facing uh, Cynthia afterwards and all that stuff. And here we are... Oh, damn. Is this a Steel-type gem or Steel... No, this is the Fighting-type one. Okay. We're going to go into the Octagon. All right. And, and by the way, as I'm recording this, uh, Stipe Miocic just defeated Daniel Cormier. That's right. Suck it, Cormier. That guy talks so much shit. You can't beat the guys you can be. That's right. I'm not a DC fan. Anywho, going back into uh, real sports right here of Pokemon. It's going a little slow. I think I gained a little bit of weight, maybe. I don't know. Alright. Let's get into the Octagon right here. And, well, he's just been waiting for us. Oh, wait, it's not an Octagon. It's a ring. Okay, so he does have some fighting type Pokemon. I am going to be switching out my Pokemon right here to Gigalith because it's both flying and psychic. And let's go right ahead and take care of this. I thank you deeply for the chance for another round of combat against you. In myself, I seek to develop the strength of a fighter and shatter any weakness in myself. Prevailing with the force of my convictions, victory, decisive victory, is, is my intention. Challenger, here I come. Oh, damn. Okay, so here it is, round two versus Marshall. Okay, the last time we took this guy on, we we mopped the floor against him. Okay, Elite Four Marshall, six Pokemon in all, coming out with a very a brand new, really, look at this. Look at this, okay, so you're really making it easy for me. It's grass and, and fighting, so I don't even know what to do. Let's fly. Yeah, buddy. I always, you know... Oh crap, it does... <laughs> Sky Uppercut can actually hit me while I'm flying, but it's not that effective. So here we go, fly attack, quadruple damage. Now, like, what I was gonna say, I, I said this early on in my adventure, that I do love fighting types, but when they have a secondary typing. Mainly because it just gives it... It just gives it a little bit more flavor. A little bit more of a, you know... Oof. I keep on saying that. Oof, oof, oof. Uh, regular fighting type Pokemon is just like, you know, okay, so I, I, I always I always think to myself, they're the easiest Pokemon to defeat. I don't know why. Them, rock type, ground type Pokemon, always the easiest Pokemon to just defeat. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure if, when you guys watched all my walkthrough videos, Bruno, all fighting type Pokemon trainers and all that stuff have just been just come easy to me. And look at that with the Stone Edge. Crud baskets. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. And there goes Gigalith. Okay. Time to avenge my my Gigalith right here. Let's go right ahead and come out with Hotshot. Now, I know this is a, a bit of a risk just because this guy just threw out uh, Stone Edge. So let's go right ahead and use a Fire Punch as he tries to recover his Pokemon. Okay. Heal your Pokemon. I don't care. 
You're not gonna win. Here we go, fire punch. It's a go. Now, let's go. Come on, all the way down. All the way, oh, god dang it. Okay, here we go again, and another fire punch for the win. Now, if Hacho was a fighting type Pokemon, it would probably be the strongest out there. I don't even know, but it, it's... Yeah. And here he comes out with a throw. So this is where I'm going to... Actually, you know what? Screw it. Fair, flare Blitz. Let's do this. Time to sacrifice some bodies. There we go. Sacrificing the body. Because this guy is a little more bulkier than the last guy right here. And come on. Finish him. Finish him. Ah, god dang it. And here comes its Earthquake attack, so... Yes, these Pokemon are prepared for anything, and look at that, it's, uh... Oh, damn. It makes my Hotshot pay, so... That's two down. Let's go right ahead and use Drillmonger, the only Pokemon right here that... Probably won't be affected as much right here. Maybe, because it is a steel tap Pokemon. Let's go with a Poison Jab. Yes! Look at that. And there goes Throw. Only one of its main uh, main threats right there, and here comes me or mind shot. Oh damn! So we're probably gonna have to poison this guy, and hopefully this guy just doesn't kill us. And there's its high jump kick. Ah uh, jeez, ah uh, jeez, we're in trouble now. You see what happens when you take on you, you talk a lot of shit. That's right, you get your ass kicked. Okay, so that's three Pokemon. Alright, time to go with Sai. Sai of the Torrent, let's get this. Alright. Not backing down. Level 82 Pokemon. Let's get this waterfall right here. I think Mai Chow is no Mai Chow's not its uh, strongest Pokemon right there, but here comes that waterfall and it nearly does it. God dang it. Okay, so high jump kick is doing its trick right there. Let's do it one more time. Waterfall. Here we go. That's right, Mind Shout has no, no no chance whatsoever. And Lexi, Toxic Croak. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is probably have, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna have to sacrifice Sai right here. Just for this little thing. Okay, I do have a few eight max revives right here. And I'm gonna use one on Gigalith. So there we go. And here comes that low sweep. And low sweep, oh wow. Low sweep does it, yeah, it, it really did, it lowered my speed. So let's see. Let's go with the waterfall one more time and Venice Shock. Crud baskets. Yeah, it's taking half my team right here. You see, this is what happens when you talk a lot of crap and I survive. Holy crud. So there we go, waterfall. Let's get this. Come on, come on. Oh, no! Oh, it was about to faint! Oh, my God. Well, Sai of the Torrent had a good run right there. And, well, there's one faint. And let's bring out the other. Now, if I didn't have these max revives, I would have been done completely because my other two Pokemon would have been, uh, would have been destroyed easily. So here we go, Psychic Attack. Finish him, Gigalith. Yes, and no more Toxic Croak. You should thank Sai of the Torrent for that one right there. And look at that, more experience points. Welcome to level 74. And he's about to come out with a Conklador. Now this Pokemon right here is just scary. Just a scary Pokemon. The last one, I'll use the last bit of strength. Let's go. Psychic Attack, let's finish this guy off. Now, come on, come on, finish him, finish him. Oh, nearly does it, and here comes its payback attack. That can't be good. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, my God. This has been an intense battle right here. Marshall has trained. He has backed every word, but guess what? Checkmate, homeboy. Checkmate. And look at that, Gigalith, getting experience, and yes, there's no strongest Pokemon or single best combination, so there are no guarantees of winning. 
but the determination to be strong and to continue to grow and improve itself is great strength is determination. That's what it shows and makes you or makes me respect you. Oh, okay, cool. He respects me. I <laughs> got somebody that respects me. Holy crud. There are still many strong trainers in this Pokemon League. You should deepen your bonds with your Pokemon with ba by battling them. Okay, we're ready. So we're halfway there, guys. Oh my god. This has been tough. This has been very, very tough. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to waste those ma max revives. Thankfully, I bought myself regular revives. There we go, hot shot. And let's see, Sign of the Torrent right here. And Drillmonger. There we go. Okay, so we're set right there. And thankfully, I got a bunch of hyper potions as well, so it could heal my, it could heal some of my Pokemon right there. And that's one. And that's two. That's three. And one more, and that makes four. Now, it's kind of—I I, kind of find it funny how, like, every single time I talk crap on a on a Pokemon trainer, it always comes back and just bites me in the you know what. And it happened to be with Marshall this time. He was like, he was hearing me. Okay, so here comes the next challenge, and I'm assuming this is the, f it's the yeah, it's the Dark type trainer right here, Grimsley. Okay. They always have to have a name like that, like, uh, to their typing and all that. Okay. Just moving down, moving that on this escalator right here. Come on. Make it happen. Make it friggin' happen. Come on. Finish it right there. Okay. So, fighting type Pokemon, right? And, okay, so the fire lights up. And I'm gonna be switching out my Pokemon before I battle this guy. So let's go with Shadow right here. It's been a while, man. Time to finish this guy off. Life is a serious battle, and you have to use the tools you're given. It's more important to master the cards you're holding than to complain about the ones your opponents were dealt. Let us begin, and may, may the best trainer win. Contests like this are proof that you are a living being, or really living. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. Round three versus Grimsley. Go. I wish I wish I would have like, you know, uh, Judge Mills Lane's thing. Alright, let's get it on! That would have been awesome, right there. And here he comes out with a Sharpedo. Oh damn. So he's coming out with all the, the guns right here. Sharpedo, Pokemon from Owen, Dark and Water type Pokemon. It could be faster than my Pokemon. Let's go ahead and find out. Let's go with a high jump kick. And, yep, it is faster than my Pokemon. Okay, here comes its waterfall, high jump kick. There we go. It was, uh, it was nice seeing you, Sharpedo, again. And, yes, of course, just like the herpes, rough skin will get you. <laughs> and look at that, look at that. More people getting experience points. He's coming out with a Scrafty, so I'm going to go with my Scrafty, Shadar. And... May the best Scrafty win. Let's go, high jump kick. There we go. Ironically enough, fighting in dark type Pokemon, but they're still weak to fighting type. That's kind of funny. And look at that, Shadar. Kicking butt, taking names. Oh, yes. That's right. Now, let's not get cocky right here. It's coming out with a Lipard. All right. Lipard, you are the uh, worst Pokemon ever. And look at that fake out. Okay, so you prevent yourself from getting hit. So let's go again with another high jump kick. And, oh damn it. Coming with an aerial ace. That is uh, messed up. Here we go. Damn it! Okay. And because we missed the high jump kick, we faint. So let's go to plan B. Side of the torrent right here. Oh, we got a move for you. We got two moves for you, by the way. You guys can't see it because, uh, yeah. Let's go with a revenge. Go ahead. Ah, oh, balls. It attracted me. Uh, crud baskets on the crapsicle stick. God dang it. Okay. Come on. Come on. All right. No, screw it. Let's do this. Come on. No, come on. God dang, Lipert. God dang it. Come on. Let's go, Psy. Yeah, buddy. Here comes that Megahorn. Now, if you guys are wondering how I taunt Psy of the Torn Megahorn, Move learner, or move relearner. That's right. And look at that. Leopard has been defeated. 
Oh yes, you gotta love that Mega Horn. Look at that, 83, level 83, Gigalith, getting experience points, and here he comes out with a Drapion. I got the Pokemon right there for ya. Let's go with our good old buddy Dr um, Drillmonger. Well, stealing ground type Pokemon. It's a good combination. I'm assuming it's a good combination right there. And look at that, it's looking all ferocious and crud, but guess what, I got Earthquake Attack, and balls. Man, Drillmonger, you're not like you're not getting any kind of a ah crud. Yeah, you're not getting you're not catching a break. But look at that, we still have the rock helmet. Here we go, earthquake. Come on, finish it. God dang, Drapion. Ah, jeez. Okay, so it might not survive this next turn. God dang it. And here it comes again with another Fire Fang. Stay, 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 stay. It stayed. And checkmate. Oh, uh, yes. So it survives for this, you know, for this turn right here. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. And yes, we're about to faint right here. Drillmonger did its thing. Oh, uh, damn. Okay, so. Let's go back to Sigh of the Torrent right here. And I picked it correctly because this guy is coming out with the Crocodile. Out. Pretty strong Pokemon itself. I could have used it. I could have actually, uh, I could have actually caught that Pokemon. Actually, in this version right here, there are quite a few Pokemon, like, or the majority of the Pokemon that you might be capturing will be in the desert. They're very, very good Pokemon to actually have, like Crocodile, um, who else? Uh, Darumaka, uh, Sigilyph. I think that's what its name is. And then, uh, god dang it. God dang it. Come on, come on. That's right, you stayed. Here we go again with another earthquake or no. A waterfall. God dang, Grimsley. Picking its right Pokemon. What's another Pokemon that you can actually find? Oh yeah, a Scrafty. Or not Scrafty, but you know what I mean. And here we go, waterfall. Come on, Kukudow. Come on, go all the way down. You jerk Pokemon, you. And nearly faint, so let's try and finish it off right here. Waterfall for the win. Look at that. Crocodile, you ain't nothing. You're nothing. Alrighty, okay, alright, and look at that. And here he comes out with his final Pokemon. Bisharp, or B Sharp, or whatever. And I got the right Pokemon for you. Now, if you remember, guys. If you have been with me since 2010, if you remember me coming out with the very first Pokemon Black Walker, you may have remembered that I came out with a Ponyard, and I hacked it. I literally hacked both Rufflet and Ponyard just to have these two Pokemon, mainly because they just look legit. They look freaking awesome and stuff. It wasn't until like later on I figured out that yeah, those two Pokemon, they may look cool, they mean they may look strong, but really not that strong if you don't use them right. And the main reason why I got uh, Bisharp, because it looked like Mega Man. It really did. And look at that. We defeated Grimsley. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I'm not even going to read that. Yeah, buddy. Okay. There are bad ways to win and good ways to lose. What's interesting and troubling is that it's not always clear which is which. A flipped coin doesn't always land heads or tails. Sometimes it may never land at all. Really? I, I, I didn't get that, but okay, okay, whatever you say, homeboy. Okay, so we got one more trainer before we actually, like, finally get to take on the champion, and we're gonna revive our good old buddy Shadar right here. Do not challenge me. I was just watching uh, The Expendables 2 with John claude Van Damme, and it was—it it reminded me of a of a joke that uh, Henry Spears came out with in one of his specials. He was, you know, impersonating John claude Van Damme. Do not challenge me! Do not challenge me! Kind of sound—it kind of sounds like Shalange uh, Knowles. Do not challenge me! It's hilarious. Okay, so healing up our Pokemon again, and. Let's see. Who is the next Pokemon trainer? There, it can't be a dragon type Pokemon trainer. It might be a water type trainer. Probably. I don't know. 
No, it's a psychic type trainer. Okay. Psychic type trainer can always be the last one right here. Uh, well, I guess this is how we do it. And I'm going to go straight back to the Pokemon League on the handbook because i got to be ready for a little bit of something. And look at that. She is coming out of her bed. She's looking all lovely and everything. Majestic. Okay, so before we battle, uh, if you guys can't hear the book, the booklet. Okay, there we go. And I gotta move the mouse. Alright. Alright. There we go. Now, this Pokemon trainer right here, she does come out with some pretty, pretty good Pokemon. Um, Alright, so... I am gonna stay with Shedder. And we're gonna take care of this. Who's there? Who's in... Who is so uncouth as to disturb my sleep? Hmm. It's you again. Still, you possess the combination of kindness and strength, yet you seem stronger than before. Do be sure not to bore me with a snooze-inducing battle. Is that clear? Damn. Very, very much a uh, cocky girl right there. Okay, so here it is. Round four versus Caitlyn. Let's get it. Believe it or not, guys, I actually dated a Caitlyn one time, and it was hilarious. Okay, so here we go. Going up against her Musharna. Oh, damn. This Pokemon right here is a tanky Pokemon. And one move that we really have to watch out for is its Dream meter. It puts you to sleep, and then bam. It just eats your dreams and all that stuff. And look at that. It just withdrew her Pokemon. And she is coming out with a Reuniclus. Reuniclus. And, uh, well, I'm still going to bite you. Now, I actually thought she was going to come out with her... Uh, I actually thought she was going to come out with her strongest Pokemon. She has two of the same Pokemon typings. It's going to be scary. And here we go. Crunch attack for the win. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's a that's a very good uh, that's a very good uh, battle right there. And here she's going to go out with a Sigalith. So I'm going to come out with my Gigalith. And we'll see who's the best one. We'll see. We shall see. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, damn. So here she comes out with her Sigalith. And, well, its very favorite move is, uh, whatchamacallit, is a uh, Flash Cannon. But I got myself Charge Beam, and I'm going to increase my special attack every single time. Trust me, guys. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional at this. So there we go. And look at that. We're increasing our special attack just a little bit, just for this occasion. But god dang it. She comes out with a, a little bit of a curveball on me. Come on, stay. Okay, god dang it. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use a full restore. I cannot afford to switch out my Pokemon right here because it does have that increase in the, in the stats. I kind of want to take advantage of it. And yes, we are back to full health and here comes a Ice Beam attack again. Come on, stay. Stay. God dang it. God dang it. Fuck you, Sigalith. Okay. Alright. Now it's personal. Now it's very, very personal. Let's go, Ace. Stoutland for Scotland. Let's get it. Alright. Time to go with the Wild Charge right here. And this guy is coming out with her Psychic attack right here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Wild Charge for the win. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. How do you like me now? <laughs> Suck it. Alrighty, and yes, a little bit of HP taken away, but guess what? We're okay. We are okay. Ace, you've been a good doggy. And here she's coming out with her Metagross. Now this Pokemon right here is a tank. An absolute force. It is both Steel and Psychic type Pokemon, and it does have a very good move. It is Earthquake. Now, this is taking a risk right here because, god dang, this Pokemon is a freaking force. So let's go with a Flare Blitz. Come on! Finish it. And yes, it is weak against ground type Pokemon too. So come on, let's go. Come on! And there we go. This Metagross had no chance. 
And luckily she does have a bronze on and this guy is like complete bullshit, so. There we go. Look at that. And she's coming out with her Mersharness. <laughs> Let's go right ahead. Let's go with Sigh of the Torn right here because we got a little something for you. A little something something. Oh yes. Sigh of the Torn. Ready to kick some butt. Ready to take some names. And this Musharna right here, looking like a sleepy hollow. It, 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 it is a very good Pokemon for her, for Caitlyn. And here we go, Megahorn taking this Pokemon out. Now I wonder how Megahorn is a bug type move. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure that out right there. And, oh, Crunt nearly beats it. And crap baskets. Here comes its hypnosis attack. And that right there is not what I need, so we're gonna have to heal our Pokemon right now. I think I do have an Awakening right here. Actually, hold on. We can use this. We only have one of them, but we can use it. So there we go. We're awake. You are not allowed to use that full or that <laughs> Dream Meter, but she was just stalling right there. Okay, I see how it is. Going back to round one right here. All right, let's do it. Going back. Get that Mega Horn right here. Mega Horn, finish it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Go to bed. Go to bed. Oh, nearly beats it. And again with another freaking hypnosis. This is annoying. This is freaking annoying. Okay, so again, we're gonna have to take a. We're gonna have to take away its uh what was it called? Uh its 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 ability to Try and eat my dream, so let's go right ahead and use a chesto berry right here. And that's right. <laughs> that's right. Can't do anything, so let's go with the waterfall. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Didn't see that coming, huh? Didn't see that coming. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. Okay, so we're doing good. Shit, Eric. Doing everything. And here she comes out with a gothitel. Looks all gothic and everything. But guess what? I got this. And it's using its frisk, trying to take its experience here away. But guess what? I got myself a Mega Horn. Let's get it. Mega Horn does its trick. Come on. Come on. Just go to sleep. And there we go, Gothitel. Defeated. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty. And she's got one more Pokemon, and it's Bronzong. Same typing as Metagross right here. So let's go back to Huncha and just make that sacrificial thing. Let's make it work. Alrighty. Alrighty. And it does have Psychic, so yeah, that's the one thing you should probably worry about. So here's Bronzong. I want to be Metagross. I stay cool and collected, even though it isn't going well. Alright. Time to obliterate. Let's go with a Flare Blitz. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, yes. How good can it be? Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. How good it is, guys. Woo! And we defeated the Pokemon, uh, well, the Elite Four. As you have always been, or even more than ever, you are elegant and an excellent trainer. Your Pokemon are also a class. I am very pleased to have battled you. Oh, look at that, she, she has a... She, she's very nice, I guess. You've defeated the Pokemon League at League 4. You have earned the right to proceed to the Champion's Room. Making an entrance is not the point. Once you're there, you'll need to unleash their full force... Uh, your full, full, full power... Full, 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 full power to its fullest. <laughs> Can't talk. I cannot talk. Okay, so... It is time. It is finally time, guys. Oh my god, I've waited about... Almost 10 years. 10 years for this, guys. And it's here. It's finally here. We finally get to take on Alder, the Pokemon League champion of Unova. We're finally gonna reclaim or we're finally gonna claim that championship that has been ours since the get-go. And well I'm gonna make sure that I prepare uh, I'm gonna uh, make these preparations the best I can now. Let's get this. Let's go back down. And uh, let's let's finally do this. Let's finally take uh, take care of business right here. So going down to middle, 
and we're going down. No screw ups, no nothing. Remember the last time we played, or we took on the Elite Four, we didn't exactly take on the champion. We didn't win the championship. Nothing. No, we defeated the Elite Four, and then Team Plasma or Team Galactic or Team Yeah Team Plasma just went all ape shit, rubshaw on on this whole place. Their castle appeared and all that crud, and yeah, it just it wasn't good for business or anything like that. So we're making the final steps right here, guys. It's it's finally done. It's finally going to happen. Look at that. We're doing the Rocky steps. Look at that. The Rocky steps. It's finally here, guys. I can't believe it. It's finally here. We're going to freaking take on the Elite Four champion. Alrighty. Okay. <sighs> it's not about the entrance, guys. It's how you end this battle. Okay. What up, Akuma? I am grateful for what you did about N. I don't know what he's thinking now, but I'm sure he realizes that different Pokemon, there are different people in Pokemon have their own paths to follow. Say now, how about a match with the strongest trainer in Unova region? And here it is, guys. Round five, Alder. Okay. So the long-awaited battle, 10 years in the making right here, we are challenged by Champion Alder, and all his Pokemon, except for one, is at level 75. His last Pokemon, level 77, and you're gonna be, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be surprised who it is. Trust me, guys, you are. So here he comes out with his Seligar. Believe it or not, it is a Bug-type Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna go all ham on these guys. And here we go, Fire Punch. Let's get this. Oh, yes. There we go. A Seligar, I actually thought it was a, a Ghost-type Pokemon. But it really is just a Bug-type Pokemon. A really, really strong Bug-type. And look at that, we defeated him. Now he's coming out with a Buffalot. Oofalot. So let's go, Shadar. Let's yeah, let's make the situation the best one possible. Buffalant, it is the third uh, horned Pokemon. It looks like a cow or something. It's a buffalo. Look at that. Look at that buffalo. Alrighty. Let's go with a high jump kick. Surely nothing can go wrong, right? Right. So high jump kick kicks him right in the nuka. And there we go. New Buffalant. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, look at that, and Gigalift grows to level 75, and here he comes out with a Drudagon, now Drudagon right here, scary, it is a dragon type Pokemon, do we have anything that we can do, that we can use to do, uh, to do away with it, probably, let's go with Sire of the, uh, Sire of the, or Sire of the Torrent, I gotta move for it, and I think I know who might come out if I use this move? So let's get this. Bring it on, Drudagon. Now, Drudagon also has rough skin, so once you make a physical attack on it, it's gonna hurt you. So here we go with the Dragon Tail, and this guy coming out with Outrage. Uh, Jeebus. So this is a strong Pokemon right here. And here we go, Dragon Tail. It is a, a nice move, and it takes half its HP. There's some rough skin on me, and it got moved uh, along, and here comes Excalvier, or whatever the Pokemon is. And its big weakness right here is fight, or is a, uh, it's a, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, it's fire type Pokemon. So we're going to be switching out our Pokemon. Let's go straight back to Hotshot. I was actually hoping for his final Pokemon right here. Alrighty, let's go. Come on, Hotshot. And here comes its X Scissors, not too strong. I wish uh, Hotshot would have had like a, like a, a, a what you call it, a an effect where you know they got burnt. What was it again? Lava armor or something? Lava body? I don't even know. And uh, look at that fire punch destroys Excavalier. or it, what was it called again? Escal Cavalier. Es es Cavalier. That's what it's called. Both a bug and steel type Pokemon, good typing, and here comes Volcarona. Holy crud, now if you guys don't remember, Volcarona is that Pokemon. So we're gonna go to Drillmonger just to hurt it a little bit with its rocks, uh, Rock Slide. And, well, hopefully it does something right here. Volca freaking Orona, not really, 
Would you guys consider it a, uh, a legendary Pokemon, or would it be like a pseudo-legendary Pokemon? You comment down below, guys. And look at that. Oh, yes, Rock Slide does the trick. <laughs> oh, Drill Monger coming in clutch. Oh, my God. Look at that, and Drill Monger grows to level 75. That's a good, uh, that's a good level earned, and... Uh, Alright, he's going to be coming out with a Drudagon, so I'm going to stay put right here. I'm going to try and weaken the crap out of this Pokemon. It is a strong Pokemon. A very, very strong Pokemon. And, well, let's go with some Poison Jab. Here we go. Poison Jab. Try and poison this guy right here. And Rough Skin hits me. Go ahead, I dare you. Physically hit me. And here comes its Super Power Attack. That is super effective. Drillmonger did the he did the tough the tough uh, the tough job right there. And its special attack went off, but look at that! Nearly makes it faint. Good God! I nearly did it. Holy crap! Okay, so for for sure, what's his face is going to be using a full restore. So I'm gonna hit him hard with with uh, Ace right here. Let's go return attack. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this Pokemon is just like recovering and all that stuff, but it's a uh, special attack went down, I think. So there we go, return attack. With an attack just like Aces, this could actually work. And a look at that critical hit. I don't even care about that rough skin. Look at that. We got one more Pokemon lap, guys, and look at that. Ace grows to level 76, which is good. Very, very good. Okay, so... Uh, it's about to go down. It's finally gonna happen, guys. My hands are nice and sweaty. He's gonna be coming out with Vanillux. Vanillux! And I got the right Pokemon for the job. Let's go with Hotshot. Time to do it. Oh, yes. Guys, it's been 10 years. It's been 10 freaking years in the making, and oh my god, this is it. Whew, you're an ex uh, exhaustible fighting spirit. Impressive! Time to eat it. Let's go. Flare Blitz for the win. Yeah, buddy. Time to eat all that fire. Through the fire, or flames and fire. And there we go. Throwing out that freaking peace sign, guys. I am throwing out the peace sign. I finally did it! I'm the freaking Unova League champion. Look at that, guys. I am the freaking Unova League champion. After that battle, the fresh wind blew through my heart. Use the battle as a stepping stone and move forward. I finally did it, guys. I defeated Akuma. Oh my god. It's finally happened. Well done! You certainly are the, uh, an unmatched talent. Come with me. Ten years, guys. Ten fucking years. That's right, guys. Oh my god. This room is the Hall of Fame. It exists to commemorate the trainers and Pokemon who are demonstrated their uh, stellar strength and kindness of heart. Man, I've never even been in here. This is, like, momentous. Well now, Draven. With your skill and persistence, you have earned your place in the Hall of Fame. Your name... The account of your journey and the history of your battles with will all be recorded here. I hope all of the all of this becomes a support to you and helps you grow stronger. Now, trainer, you and your Pokemon who fought by uh, your side will be recorded in this machine. It's about damn time. That's all I got to say, guys. It's about damn time. Ten freaking years. That's all I have to say, guys. Ten freaking years. Holy crap. Look at that. Oh my god, this is, uh, wow. Look at that. I, I love the graphics to this. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's going a little bit fast right here, so I'm going to slow it down just a tad. Oh my god. And that's right, your badass host is finally the Unoba Champion. Let you remember that. 
Make sure you remember that because he finally freaking did it. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Look at that. All my Pokemon just like joining me. I'm actually gonna increase the speed a little bit. Oh my god. Uh, I don't even know what to say, guys. I don't even know what to say. I. <laughs> It, it, it just, it, it, it dawns on me. It really does that, you know, it really did take me 10 years to finally get this whole walkthrough just to finally uh, at least win the, the league championship right here in Pokemon uh, Black. I played it twice before and, you know, it just, it, it just didn't happen because I was being lazy. Oh my god. And, and look at that, an hour long episode and it's well deserved to too many of you guys right here. Look at that. So I'm gonna slow down the speed right here again. Okay guys, so this was the very end of the Pokemon Black walkthrough. Now I know that I've skipped over uh, quite a few things that you guys probably would want to see, like you know the Unova boat thing, uh, capturing other legendary Pokemon and all that stuff. Believe it or not, I was gonna showcase something, a little something before this, this the start of this episode. But I'm going to save it for the Legendary series that I will be coming out very, very soon. So, like I was saying before, guys, it took me 10 years. Literally took me 10 years. When I was driving XC711, I came out with this and Pokemon Soul Silver, And I came out with this without even knowing how to play it. That was my first mistake. Second mistake was hacking everything. Third mistake was, you know, finishing it off at the end series, especially with the second time around. And like I said from time and time again, guys, the reason why I deleted all my videos and restarted was to make it a, uh, what was it, a uh, redemption tour. This right here is redemption. I finally did it. I finally got the Pokemon Unova League Championship. Now I can finally move on to the next thing, which is Pokemon X. And it's going to be very easy because I've played that game dozens of times. And it's not going to be hard for me. Um, I've already came out with 10 episodes of Pokemon X. Trust me, guys, I've been recording uh, I've been recording more episodes of Pokemon X. So <laughs> we're going to get on that real, real quick. Uh, this makes, what, third or fourth walkthrough done in, the, uh, in this year. And, I mean... I don't want to thank it, I don't want to say it, but thanks to COVID-19, it, it finally happened. Like, technically, right now, I should be starting my football season. Like many people out there, I should be starting my football season right now. But because of COVID-19, things got paused and everything, and now it's giving me more time to focus on my YouTube channel, and it's actually benefited me just a little bit more. Um, anything else I have to say? Yes, I will be coming out with a Pokemon Black or a Pokemon White 2 uh, walkthrough in the near future. Just don't know when because, you know, this one took quite a while just to do and everything else. Uh, believe it or not, I I haven't played the Unova games so much, so I wouldn't know what to do. So I'm going to I'm gonna try and finish that off, trying to, you know, get to learn it. And then you'll see it uh, eventually later on in this year, guys. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.